See, a common mistake yes, of dua from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means exactly what I wanted should happen. This is only one out of three possibilities. And this is the least possibility. The one that you will hate in the hereafter. No matter what it might be. Except for some exceptions, whatever dua you prayed for, worldly matters and so on, that was granted to you in this world, you will wish in the hereafter that it was not accepted in this way. Why? The Messenger وسلم, said that whenever you make a dua, there are three possibilities. The first one is that Allah Almighty will grant you what you are supplicating. To. Allah Almighty will give you what you prayed for. The second one, Allah Almighty will remove from you evil and harm that was about to hit you, that was already decreed against you. Already decreed against that person, major harm, accident, paralysis for example, loss of mind or property or children, whatever problem that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed against him already. And he was praying for, let us say, an increase in salary, for example. Or to have a boy child, for example, or something like that. And he's praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a lot. And he never got that what he prayed for. But instead, that bad decree against him or destiny against him was removed. Allah Almighty changed it, alternated. Because it was much more beneficial to you. To protect you from a worst evil. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect that person because of his dua from all of these things. Now when you come to realize it, which one is better? What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose for you. So the person might think, I was not, I never answered my dua. I was not. No, it was answered many times and probably you never realized it. Now there is a third one that is not linked in this world, but in the hereafter. By the way, about this one, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the dua and the qadr destiny or decree they will fight each other in between that one is coming down and this one is going up they will fight each other until the dua wins so you should be persistent with dua and continue so the dua will hold that qadr for as long as you are still praying until it completely removes it so never give up the dua dua is a win 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 situation only no no fourth possibilities win 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 situation all the time so there is never say that my dua went in vain the dua itself is a ibadah in fact it is the essence of ibadah as the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that is the whole idea of all your ibadah is to supplicate and be humble and request allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is that so that now the third one is in the hereafter the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the dua will not be answered in this world. The dua will not remove any bad destiny against you because there are none or already the rest of the dua has already covered them. So what will happen? Allah Almighty will keep it for him in the hereafter. So in the hereafter he will come and he will see that Allah Almighty has wrote for him so many good deeds that he have never done. He has built, mashallah, 10 masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and 20 orphanage and he has supported so and so and he has given billions in charity and say, this is not my paper, this is not my book. You have a mistake, where is this coming from? Say, no, you made a dua that I did not answer you in this world. I kept it with me for you, subhanAllah. So you come and you realize that is when the person will wish that none of his dua were accepted in this world. When he see all the blessed and generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So never say that, well, I made the dua and the answer was not there. No, it's always there. Only in which form? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the essence of dua and grant us to make dua to him humbly and uh, persistently. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the good duas that are beneficial to us in this world and the hereafter. آمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا